Still can't paint f***ing eyes. <laughs> so guys, this video is going to go over the pros and cons of different magnification methods for when you're painting. The reason I'm doing this video is since getting my glasses, my eyesight's improved tenfold, but the only issue is these are very focal, so I'm always looking down the bottom of my glasses like an old fat, and uh, sometimes I just can't see what I need to see, and I'm still reverting back to reading glasses. So we're gonna go through these few different magnification options that I've bought to show you how you can improve your vision for painting the really smaller details that you want to paint, like eyes and things. They've all got their own pros and cons, but let's cover that. We're gonna get set up for this shot then, Josh. Josh, what are you doing? I'm just playing a new game. What game? Vikings, War of Clans, have you not heard of it? Vikings and War on your mobile? Yeah. That sounds fun. I'd like to thank Vikings, War of Clans for sponsoring this video because I like Vikings and not only that, the game's free to play. I was hooked after the first five minutes and the reason for this is it's very reminiscent of like the old RTS games that I used to play as a kid. It's a nice relaxing game that me and Josh have been sat down playing and when you've got a little bit of downtime or anything like that you can build, you can fight warring clans, you can even fight each other once you get to a higher level which is going to be pretty interesting. It's nice, it's simple to learn and it's just something easy to play to pass a little bit of time. Vikings are celebrating their 7th anniversary and they are getting a huge update this month including Jotunheim, 3 birthday monster events, blitz competitions every 2 days and boosts for new players up to 20% each week. Jotunheim is a world of giants and eternal ice. Relocate to it during the legendary competition and you will be able to take part in the battle for the throne and fight monsters of Jotunheim for coffers and trophies. Help support the channel by downloading Vikings for free using my link in the description box below and become a hero of exciting events in the world of Vikings. Don't forget to look me up under my nickname, which is the Ginger D. D stands for Dwarf. While you're doing that, you can look me up as well. My name is The Bigger Pickle. Thanks to Vikings Warrior Clans for supporting the channel. Now back to the video. So guys, we've all bought something like this. This is a stupidly cheap one. Back in the day when I commissioned painting, I bought a dental lamp, cost me about 200 quid, and I never liked it. I mean, it had a good light on it, but the problem that you've got with single magnification sort of stands, they're very convenient. But your problem you've got is when you get that under there, you can see it a lot better, which that's a pro. <laughs> the thing you've got to learn with these is when you're painting, your depth perception has gone completely because they're not binocular, meaning two eyes, it's a singular thing. So you've got to teach yourself to paint with one of these. And I don't like it because sometimes I don't use it. It's only when I'm doing like better painting or I'm picking out details I can't see. You come to use it after not using it a while and you teaching yourself to start painting all over again. This is why I never recommend these. I see why people want to buy them because they're a light and they're like a desk lamp and everything all in one. Just don't waste your money on them. If you've got one already and you paint with it regular, fine, we'll get that. But I can't be bothered to learn how to use one of these all the time. So here we've got a camera set up just to show how minimum focus has changed drastically with one of these. So my lens will focus about as good as my eye. I, I can't see this without my glasses two, two feet away. This has like a two foot sort of minimum focus. And when you put a magnifying glass in front of that, you can get to about there, which you're half in the minimum focus, which is what you're trying to do when you're miniature painting, so it looks bigger through the magnification. So as I said, guys, this does work, and a lot of people will have them because it's the first thing you buy all the time. And me, personally, I think this is just fucking. <laughs> now, these ones, Mel did a video on these last week, and I've had these before. Um, they are good okay but there's a few niggles i've got with these after trying different pairs they're a bit big and bulky but the one thing that i do like about these is you can see around where the glass isn't but 
that is also its own con. There's something always interfering and it's the same issue I have when wearing varifocal glasses. You've got to really look at where you're going. The other issue with the optics that come with these is there's a split in middle. I've got no idea why they're doing that. So if you're holding everything central to your face, which you're doing 90% of the time because they're quite small of the lenses, there's a definite cut and it kind of fish eyes a bit. And this gets worse with the more magnification you use. But they are quite handy, um, and these are actually the cheaper option. But for an extra £10, you can get some glasses that do an awfully good job. Again, showing you through the camera, it's halved the distance again, and that's only with the plus one. A plus two, a plus three, you can get these very, very close to your face. But as you can see, in the middle of the lens, it's very soft. And that's because there's a like a line in the glass where they've stuck two pieces together or they've shaped the glass. And how it's looking on camera is a bit exaggerated, but it does show like that when you're looking in the middle of the lens when they're on your face. So it's just something to be aware of when you're looking at this type of lens, um, when you're looking at this type of magnifier. Um, but I mean, I know it's not the best footage ever, but you get the idea. Right, so these are my favorite pair, and there's multiple reasons why. One, they're more like actual glasses. There is a light on there. It's, where is it? There is a light on there. It's pretty pointless. It's two LEDs. You can just take that off with just two screws. It just makes it bigger and bulky, which I'm gonna take this off. One thing I like about these more so is the more like glasses. So you've got a lot of glass in front of your face and already that model's in focus. However, if I'm wanting to get right in there and get some nitty gritty, I can pull down another magnification and get in there and get right close. So you're not having to keep changing the, the glasses on there. And my favorites are just using the plus one and the plus two. And then when you put them together, you've got a, obviously something that's similar to a plus three. And I really like these. They're a lot better built. They're a lot stronger plastic. And just because the glass itself is thicker and bigger, you're not having any distractions in, in your field of view at all. Um, these are 10 pounds dearer than uh, these ones, but they're so much better, so much better. And I'm going to be using these quite a lot, especially when it comes to painting. So as you can see, with this being a bigger lens as well, it should work better on the camera. And as you can see, it's a lot clearer and easier to use even on the camera. Um, and it's more than half the minimum focus distance. And that's just a plus two. Um, a plus three will get you nearly touching, <laughs> touching the camera, so it's pointless. Uh, but I absolutely love these because they're just, it's more like wearing a good pair of glasses, reading glasses for doing the job. These are awesome. The last ones, if you're on a really tight budget and you're struggling for painting your tiny details, are readers. I've already covered readers in other videos when I were having problems with my eyes and having operations and things on my eyes. Reading glasses are awesome. They're like two pound a pair. You can get them even cheaper at certain pound shops and you can get them in different strengths. And for me, reading glasses are the best of everything. The only problem with reading glasses is technically depending on what you're working on, you need two or three pair. Um, but apart from that, they are a lot better than the other options. What makes me like these over these is the fact that I don't have to keep taking them off my head. I can put a really mild prescription in first, so then when I look up, it's not out of focus, and then I can drop down another one. Whereas with these, if you're wearing your plus threes, you can't see naff all, and you're constantly doing that when you're selecting your paint and stuff. But with these, you can be working on your model, you can flip that up and you, you, the prescription's not too bad that you can still see two, three foot away, grab your paint off the thing, flop it down and work away. Or you could just put a plus two or a plus three in the one that flops up and down. And that way you've got your normal eyesight under there or your normal glasses. So that's why I like them. But if you are on a serious budget, readers do the job 
better than these two. It's just you need a couple of pairs to get maximum effect. But reading glasses, the cheap and the work. Right, there's no real way to show you the lenses, how they magnify things because there's too much plastic in way. I can't get it over the camera lens. But the quality of the optics are as good as the second pair. It's a nice big piece of glass. There's nothing in your way apart from a frame like you'd have on any other glass. And optically, these are a little bit better than them. But you've got the functionality with them so that's why i choose these i will put links to all these products down in the amazon affiliates and things below if you're really considering it these are awesome these aren't bad and for 10 15 pounds a pop up it they're okay but please be aware that there's slight fish eye in the little bit of plastic in the middle does cause you uh, problems if you're looking in the center because it's not like a nose piece it's it's a piece of glass that you can see through and they're actually away from your face rather than being right up to your eyes like gla these glasses are right up to your eyes whereas these are a good inch away from your eyes which again means you're seeing more of the glass in front of you than actually seeing through it so just be aware of that so guys i get asked this question all the time from a lot of people that have in between whether they're getting glasses or they don't need glasses yet but they're struggling with miniature painting it happens to all of us especially as you get older or if you've got any conditions like type 1 diabetes or blood pressure problems and things like that it does affect your eyes so more miniature painters are reaching out and asking what's the best now for me readers especially it's a cheap option to see what magnification works for you best um, I always sit between one and a half and a two and a half but when I've been doing some of the smaller models a plus three has really helped um, but since buying these ones it's been a great help because when I'm switching and changing between things the fact that I can just flip up the prescription it's awesome um, I am going to actually get some proper reading glasses um, like done at an optician's but they're going to cost me about 400 quid so for now these will put me on and you just can't beat it for price uh, they help out massively but i hope that's helped some of you out if you are interested in any they are in the links below i get a bit of a cut back when you buy them it's only a couple of pence but every little helps and uh, if you want to support me any other way don't forget to check out geek gaming scenics below where you can buy all your scenics and there's shops all over the world as well so if you want to help your local shops out if you help them it also helps me and last of all guys patreon patreon we've got some nice new things coming up at the end of next month we're going to be doing a podcast once a month just for us patreons uh, and there's other cool features like the list of patrons on the screen and things like that but anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you again for the next video love 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 Test mic. You might still own it. One, two, two, two. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> You've got to get your burp out before you start. <laughs> You've got to learn yourself to paint with one of these. Go on. Learn yourself. You teach yourself. Yeah. Teach yourself. And me personally, I think this is just fopping. <laughs> I've broke everything. <laughs> but you've got the function functionality <laughs> so guys turk fan off I don't think they can turk fan off YouTube don't work like that <laughs> should f*** <laughs> so guys turk fan off <laughs> <laughs>